Welcome to an overview of the searching functionality within Pivotal CRM version 6. The first level of searching we'll look at is global searching, available in the top right hand corner of all Pivotal forms and portals. I can choose all tables or from the drop down list a single table. I can then enter some text and Pivotal will display matching records. The tables and the fields that are included in this search are determined and configurable through the Pivotal Toolkit. If I click My Home, one of the options here on my taskpad is Show Saved Searches. This will give me three tabs, a list of all the searches that I have available within the system, a list of the searches that, I've, that I own, and a list of the searches that I've run recently. One of the searches on this, on this list, Contacts by Account Manager and State, I'll run now. I'll highlight it and click the Run Search button. This gives me two parameters that I need to enter. I choose an employee and I'll enter a state of Vic for Victoria and click the Run Search button. This gives me a list of search, of search results. The columns displayed will be determined by my security in the system and I can right click and choose whichever of the columns I want to see and which will be exported when I export this results to Excel at a later point. I can also right click and choose the sorting. I can change the level, the, sort, the sorting to multiple levels of sorting, primary and secondary sorts. I have optional search filters in the middle that allow me to narrow the list of search results down. So if I only wanted to see prospects, I can tick that box, rerun the search, and I get a smaller list of search results. The optional search filters are configurable through the toolkit as well. I'll just hide the search filters there and select multiple records. I can now choose to export these search results to Excel to a CSV file, an XML file, or run them with a Letter Express mail merge or with a report that I've created previously. I can also add the items to a static list for use in something like a marketing campaign or project, or if I only had one option highlighted, I can choose to add that record as a shortcut or favourite in my system. I can edit the search, and if I did, I can rerun re the search. I can also highlight multiple records and using the data management utilities available within Pivotal, run a merge on those two records. That will be a subject for another recording. If I go back to my home page, I have an option here where I'm going to look at how I do the searching. So my final level of searching is where I create the search from scratch. I have two types here, a basic search and an advanced search. A basic search allows me to do something as simple as choose a table, and again, I'll choose contacts, and then I can start by putting in some simple criteria like starts with or contains. I can use my optional search filters, or I can build some custom filters, and that might be city equals Perth. We'll just type that in and then I run my search. I've got two records displayed. Now if I want to use that search again I can save the search and contacts by city and if I want to make this search available to other users I can change the access type to public read only which means only I can change the criteria, but they can enter a parameter when they run that search. If I go back to show save search, oops, if I go back to search for items and look at the advanced search option, we'll choose a table again, and again, I'll look at contacts. And again, I have the optional search filters in the middle that I can use and my custom filters. We'll just hide that and look at 
the advanced searching capabilities down the bottom where I have access to different fields within my primary table, in this case the contacts table. And as I scroll down the list, you'll see that I have searching available on the secondary tables as well. Where I'm looking at something like, say, the account manager, I have access to the fields within the account manager linked table, which is the employee table. If I did something as simple as city and type, it's just a matter of clicking and dragging, changing it to an and or an or, and if I wanted to make this parameter driven, then I'll have it as an open parameter. If I run this search, it will ask me for a city. And again, we'll type in Perth and we'll type in or select Prospect. I'll run my search and I've got one record. I can choose to save that search again. That's the final level, so we have global searching, we have the ability to run saved searches, and we have the ability to be able to create both basic and advanced searches. All of these capabilities are governed by the security granted to us by the system administrator. Thank you for listening and looking.